there was no room on the road which wraps itself around the port of Durban. It had been turned into a thoroughfare for raiders and thieves as they ransacked warehouses and distribution centers located close to the shipping terminal. The young and the old took advantage with people on foot joined by those in pickup trucks who'd come to steal in bulk. And the police and the country's military, well, they were nowhere to be seen. Why, why are people doing this? Why are people doing it? The train tracks were used as a form of escape by those lugging stolen goods, although many tried to avoid our camera. We're hungry, we are hungry. You're hungry? Yeah, no joke. It was a sentiment expressed by many. Why are people looting? No food, no nothing, no work, he said. But you can't eat a bicycle. I can, he responded. The trouble was triggered by the arrest of the former president, Jacob Zuma, last week. But it has been fueled by frustration in a country where millions are struggling in the midst of the pandemic. And what about Zuma? Are people doing this for Zuma? Uh, I, I think it's no, pretty much it's no food. Okay. This is looting on an industrial scale. There are hundreds of, there are thousands of people here really with, with bikes and furniture and microwaves and anything they can carry. And the police there, they're really just looking on from above. There's, doesn't seem to be anything they can do. The authorities have made nearly 2,000 arrests nationwide, but they are not in control. On the River Horse Industrial Estate, a police unit fired tear gas and rubber bullets in an attempt to clear the park. And we watched the looters flee through clouds of smoke, although many dumped their plunder. And there are some here who will never leave. We counted three dead bodies on the grass-covered verge of the estate. Highway of death, Gulf War, that's what it looks like down here. If you carry on further down the road, the cars burnt out, wrecked cars in the road. They've looted everything. The factories are burning, the warehouses are burning. The people are coming by their thousands to come and loot. Okay. The police are outnumbered and bewildered, and some are growing angry. As they race to another call, we saw one officer firing his weapon at people on the roadside at point-blank range. Roadblocks have been erected to intercept the looters, but they will not stop this disorder, for the authorities lack basic resources, while millions of people cannot meet their basic needs. In a crisis that threatens South Africa, ordinary people have chosen to steal, and the implications seem unmanageable. John Sparks, Sky News in Durban.